Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. If you are looking to run virtual machines directly from your Windows 11 PC, Hyper-V is a great built-in tool from Microsoft. It allows you to run multiple operating systems on the same hardware, ideal for testing, development and sandboxing. In this video, we will walk you through how to enable Hyper-V on Windows 11 in just a few steps. Hyper-V is a hardware virtualization technology developed by Microsoft that allows you to create and manage virtual machines on a physical computer. It allows you to run multiple operating systems simultaneously on a single device, each in its own isolated environment. Hyper-V is commonly used for testing, development, server management and creating virtualized environments, making it powerful tool for developers and IT professionals. Before enabling Hyper-V on your Windows 11 device, it's important to verify that your system meets the necessary requirements. Let's discuss the prerequisites for running Hyper-V on Windows 11. We need Windows 11 Pro, Enterprise or Education Edition. Windows 11 Home doesn't officially support Hyper-V though some work arounds exist. A 64-bit processor with second level address translation. Virtualization must be enabled in BIOS or UEFI. At least 4 GB of RAM. 8 GB recommended more is better for vm performance there are three methods available to enable the hyper v feature on a windows 11 system through windows features using windows powershell and via the dism command in this video i'll cover all three methods to enable hyper v on windows 11 method 1 enable hyper v on windows 11 using windows features To enable Hyper-V on Windows 11 using Windows Features, click on Start menu, select Settings to open the Settings app. Click on System, scroll down and click on Optional Features. Again scroll down, under the Related Settings section, click on More Windows Features. In the Windows Features window, scroll down to Hyper-V and check the box next to Hyper-V. Make sure the Hyper-V management tools and Hyper-V platform checkboxes are selected. Click OK and wait for the installation process to complete. Once the installation is complete, click Restart now to restart your Windows 11 computer and enable the Hyper-V feature. Method 2: Enable Hyper-V on Windows 11 using PowerShell. Right-click the Start button and select Windows PowerShell Admin. To launch Windows PowerShell with administrative privileges in the PowerShell window type the command enable hyphen windows optional feature hyphen online hyphen feature name microsoft hyphen hyper-v hyphen all press enter to execute the same delete powershell will execute the same delete and begin the process of enabling the hyper-v feature on this windows 11 computer If successful we will be prompted to restart our Windows 11 device type y and press enter to restart this Windows 11 device method 3 enable hyper-v feature using command prompt open command prompt as an administrator click on start button and search for command prompt click on run as administrator to open the command prompt as an administrator in the command prompt window Type the command dism slash online slash enable hyphen feature slash feature name colon Microsoft Hyper-V slash all. Now press Enter key to execute the command. This command will enable Hyper-V feature on this Windows 11 system. Please wait while the command enable Hyper-V feature on this Windows 11 system. Once the command completes successfully, restart your Windows 11 device. Type Y to restart your Windows 11 device. After restarting, log in again to the Windows 11 device. Open the Start menu, type Hyper-V Manager, and click on it to open the Hyper-V Manager console. From the Hyper-V Manager console, we can start creating and managing virtual machines. We have successfully enabled the Hyper-V feature in Windows 11 using three different methods. That's all for this video. on how to enable hyper-v feature on windows 11 computer 
I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.